Hi, I'm David Chelsea, and welcome to my Hangout for October. We're actually, I think, going to try to do two Hangouts for October, but uh, this is the first one. I always do one on the fourth Thursday of the month. So I'm going to do not very much this week. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of a drawing demonstration. This is a little bit different. I'm used to working on my computer, but I wanted to do some drawing in the real world with paper on ink and show you how I do it. So I'm, uh, this is a page from the story that's running on Patreon right now, which is a, a snow angel story in which she meets a superhero character named Lady Goddess. And this is snow angel. She's a character that I've been drawing for years and years. Uh, there's actually a story, a Halloween story with her on, uh, in the October issue of Dark Horse Presents that you can go out and buy today. Um, and this is Lady Goddess, who is a new character. I just devised her for this story. And she's a grown-up superhero. So I'm going to do a demonstration of how I draw these characters. First, I'm going to draw Snow Angel. So I will start with a, a red pencil or a blue pencil, but a, a kind of faintly colored pencil. And I will do some kind of loose figure drawing of her. Her characteristic pose is with her hands out because that's what she looks like when she first turns into snow angel. She uh, makes an angel in the snow and then she flies out of the depression in the snow and she's already an angel. And my, uh, the persistent thing I do that I try to correct is I draw her head too big. So I almost always wind up shrinking the head down considerably in the, in the sketching stage. So there's her wings right here. And she has a little halo that sits above her head. And I'm going to have her ooh, standing where I want to fly. I think I want to fly. So, and there's, she has a simple face. So now I'm going to take things, I'm going to refine things a little bit using the graphite pencil. She has a little snowflake on her robe. And so the final stage for this is going to be inking. And this is the pen I use, which is a Laney, which is a really nice fountain pen. 
not too expensive. And I am using Strathmore Bristol 400 series here, which is a nice quality drawing paper. Uh, there's also a 300 series. And believe it or not, the 400 series is better. Costs more, but it's nice to know that your money isn't wasted. Now, what I like to do is add a thicker line around the outside of the figure. And for that, I'm using a wrought wing art pen. And I think this is a pen that's marketed as a lettering pen, but it has a really nice thick line. The nice thing about drawing on paper as opposed to drawing on computer, and I've been doing a lot of computer work lately, is the ease with which you can rotate the paper. Because that's not always easy to do if you have a large sheet. Um, but I always draw snow angel stories about the same size as reproduction. This is, you know, basically seven or six, six by nine. So the drawings can be nice and tiny. And actually these character drawings are larger than, uh, than, than what I ordinarily draw. So I would also like to draw, since I have a little bit of time, I'd like to draw Lady Goddess. Uh, this character. So she is taller a bit more of a traditional superhero.
Lady Goddess is, she's one of the Congress of Crusaders, which is a team of superheroes that uh, basically only exists in dreams. In the universe of, soup, of, of Snow Angel, Snow Angel is the only superhero that exists. And I've been very insistent on that through all the stories that I've drawn. And people always expect her to have other superheroes in tow and she never does. People expect her to have a, uh, a secret identity and she doesn't. So this story, which uh, is, it winds up being someone's dream. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler. It is a way for me to violate the rules of my own universe. So I have a, a blog post about this story, uh, which is running on Patreon. I have a blog post on my blog about it, uh, which kind of explains the, the evolution of, of Lady Goddess. When she started off, she was pretty much uh, a, a Wonder Woman ripoff, but I decided to give her a little bit of a different costume. Um, she's basically got the uh, thong that Va Vampirella has and give her laurel leaves instead of a tiara. And things really came together when I got rid of the cape she has, a, instead of a cape, she has a purse of power. Uh, and I gave her a 1940s hairdo, which to me makes her look much more like a golden age superhero. So. should also mention again that Snow Angel is in a special Halloween story in Dark Horse Presents number 15, which went on sale yesterday, Wednesday, but they should still have some copies in stock. Uh, so you can go to your friendly comic shop or your nasty comic shop, if uh, that's what you prefer. But I'm sure they'll be happy to sell you a copy. And uh, there are also uh, a number of other artists in, in that issue, including my good friend, Carla Speed McNeil, who did the cover. And uh, Dark Horse Presents is an Eisner winning comics anthology. Well, the other thing about Lady Goddess is that she has these sort of straps going up her legs from her sandals. So I'm going to draw her, I'm going to draw the purse of power covering up her hand. My technical squad, Jacob Mercy, for handling the camera and microphone. Nice to know that I'm that he's got my back and I'm not all alone out here in the ether. Ooh, that's funny. I gave Lady Goddess a gap between her teeth, which she doesn't have. I'm going to take that out in anything. By the way, um. Before I ink this, I'm going to erase this. This is an important and vital step in drawing. And you want to do it once the ink is fully dried, which is why I took a little time before doing it. But so much prettier without all the pencil. I read an interesting tip 
which is don't bother getting a really good pencil to do your penciling for comics because you're going to wind up erasing it anyway. So I do pretty nondescript pencils, or I use pretty nondescript pencils for this process. Um, perhaps in coming weeks, I'll show you how to draw other members of the Congress of Crusaders. There's also Captain Audacity, uh, Count Chompula, who is a superhero vampire, uh, the Cadaver, who is a skeleton. Um, my daughter just pointed out to me that we don't actually know whether the Cadaver is male or female, since the you know, the skeleton could be either. Um, in the story, I kind of make a point that Lady Goddess is the only female member of the Congress of Crusaders, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It could be that the cadaver is female, but only pretending to be male to fit in. Uh, and the last member is the swoosh, who runs really fast. So, now Lady Goddess has a stars and stripes motif. She has stars on her thong and she has stripes on the purse of power. Um, the story that's up on Patreon today is in black and white, but I hope to eventually do it in color. So naturally, the uh, stars would be on a blue field and the stripes would be red and white. Um, Jake is asking me if I'm gonna redesign Lady Goddess in the future. Um, I always reserve the possibility uh, if people don't like the design, um, I like the design and I worked carefully to make it pleasing to me, but, you know, the readers of the final arbiter of that, they're my real bosses. Um, and I know that, um, both Wonder Woman and Vampirella have had makeovers recently um, in the face of feminist criticism to uh, dress them more modestly. Um, it's always a possibility. Actually, in the comic itself, this is another spoiler, uh, Lady Goddess does get a makeover because Snow Angel notices that she's freezing in the cold and says, why are you dressed like that? Why are you freezing? And Lady Goddess says, well, the sacred immortals who gave me my powers handed me down my raiment and I would not change it. But so Angel uh, just sort of zaps her and, and gives her a pair of long underwear, uh, long underwear with spots. And she says, yeah, you know, the secret to surviving in the cold is dressing in layers. And what do a lot of Greek gods know about how to dress in the cold? So that looks like, oh, this is always a fraught moment. Um, is it soon enough to erase? Am I going to smear this thing? All right. There's a, there's a trick to erasing this in such a way that it, it doesn't smear. You know, you try to sort of roll the eraser over the surface rather than wiping it back and forth. 
And of course, in these heavily inked areas, it's even more treacherous. But I think I've done it. Oh, but I need to give Lady Goddess her heavy outline. And that's done. I love my job. So thank you so much for hanging out and watching me draw. And uh, thank you so much for paying any attention to my comics work at all. Um, you're welcome to visit my website, www.dchelsea. Uh, you can also visit my Patreon page where I am posting a uh, the, this story about Snow Angel, there's also another continuing story that I've uh, that's on hiatus that's going to start up, up again in December called uh, Are You Being Watched? And I'll also, I, I, I regularly post uh, sketchbooks and stuff. I, I sketch uh, reference photographs, old, old envelopes, old illustration, uh, just whatever I can find in my archives that might be interesting. And uh, once again, you've been watching and listening to David Chelsea. Signing off. <laughs>